Morning everyone, July 3rd, 2020, Sonnet 100. Happy Canada Day. Hmm? Canada Day being July 1st. That was the day that I was supposed to do this, but I was driving from a town called Northbrook through Caledor, through Kingston, Picton, Belleville, ending up at a, uh, Castleton, a tiny, tiny town with one little corner grocery store, wonderful people in there grabbing some food and heading back to a campground called Sandaraska Park in the Ganaraska Park where we attempted to ride our motorcycles through rocks. Didn't work so well. Uh, beautiful stay, beautiful people, wonderful Canada Day. And uh, if I may, the um, sonnets 100 to 103 are considered, and this is a quote, many critics feel the sonnets 100 to 103 lack any sense of commitment or emotional involvement. Nevertheless, there's a sense of easy grace and detachment. Um, they are that. They're very graceful. They're very wonderful. Um, but in this 100, according to um, an older uh, uh, review of it, Shakespeare is sort of blaming his muse for leaving him um, sort of drying up and uh, taking off to, for some worthless pursuit and leaving him with nothing to say. Which I disagree with. Um, 100 is beautiful. Time is personified again. So here it is. Where art thou, muse, that thou forgettest so long, to speak of that which gives thee all thy might? Spend'st thou thy fury on some worthless song, darkening thy power to lend base subjects light? Return, forgetful muse, and straight redeem. In gentle numbers time so idly spent, sing to the ear that doth thy lays esteem and give thy pen both skill and argument. Rise, resty muse, my love's sweet face survey, if time have any wrinkle graven there, if any be a satire to decay, and make time spoils despised everywhere. Give my love fame faster than time waste life, so thou preventest this scythe and crooked knife. Thank you.